unequivocally not my all-time favorite comic book character because that's Magneto. Magneto's always been my number one favorite comic book character. But my favorite character in the MCU is Captain America, specifically Steve Rogers. Uh, Steve Rogers to me is Captain America, is Steve Rogers, is Captain America, is Steve Rogers. Uh, that's the way it is. And, and listen, I, I think Sam's going to be a, have a great run as Captain America. No disrespect to that. I think it's going to be wonderful, but that's my favorite guy. And when they moved away from him and Tony Stark, I, I've been saying for a long time, they will be back. They 100% will be back. Now, there is a new report going around suggesting that it's a done deal. Hmm. Headline in comicbookmovie.com is writing, Avengers star Chris Evans rumored to have signed on for an MCU return, and here's when you'll see him. Now, it goes on to quote a Twitter source. Granted, it's one of these Twitter sources that has been right on a number of occasions. <laughs> okay. Um, not so right on a couple of occasions as well, so take it with a big grain of salt. Has been right, has been wrong. But they're saying that uh, it's actually done that uh, Chris Evans's return to the MCU is there. Now there are rumors going around that the place and rumors I have heard myself going around that Chris Evans is going to pop up in Deadpool and Wolverine. Now this would make sense because all you got to do is go back and look at Ryan Reynolds' other recent movie he did with Sean Levy called Free Guy. Right. Where one of the great cameos <laughs> in that movie that caught the whole audience off guard, of course, was Chris Evans popping up in that movie with a great one line, and that was it. But they clearly have a connection, right? Ryan and Chris Evans clearly have a connection there. Um, it would make sense. Now... Let me be clear. I have not heard from any of the principals involved that this is what's happening. But I do believe that this is what's happening. I, I think we're going to see Chris Evans pop up in, um, in Deadpool and Wolverine. I don't think it's going to be the harbinger of his return for Secret Wars. I think right. that'll be a separate thing. But I do expect to see Chris Evans in Secret Wars. I do. But... Uh, I fully, fully, fully believe we are indeed going to see him pop up in this. And this, if there's any truth to it, and that's a giant grain of salt, but if there's any truth to it that that Chris has signed on to appear, I think what we're talking about is Deadpool and Wolverine. At least that's how I see it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved to feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA to treat yourself. Rob? Been hearing these stories. We've been talking a lot about Chris Evans and and you know Tony Stark returning. Just recently, Robert Downey Jr. made comments saying, I would come back to the MCU in a heartbeat. He said, I love that. He said, the MCU is a part of my DNA. Um, of course, not announcing that he's going to come back. He just said he's willing to come back any moment. This about Chris Evans. What do you, do you believe the report? If so, where do you think we see him pop up first? What do you think of all this? I I think 100% he's going to be in Deadpool and Wolverine, and there's so many different ways you could go. I mean, 
obviously we know they go to Sokovia. Like we see the, they even mention it in one of the trailers. So who was in Sokovia, but the Avengers. So you could have uh, a different version of like, like in uh, Endgame when you saw 2012 Captain America, you know, from the first, from the first right. Avengers movie, you could have old Steve Rogers, maybe, maybe uh Deadpool goes and finds old Steve Rogers on the moon, uh, on the moon. <laughs> and uh, there's just the myriad of possibilities that, that, and you never know they're dealing with Fox. They're dealing with the MCU. There's so many ways to go, but I would imagine we might even see multiple versions of Captain America. All of those things. I like, don't if, disagree with you on that. Yeah, I mean, what if Deadpool like shows up at the end of Endgame when they're dancing together? Deadpool yep. opens the door. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, buddy, I need you. Hate to interrupt. Yeah, I hate to interrupt you guys. And, you know, there's there's Agent Carter and there's... Because uh, remember, in, in, in the... Oh, you weren't there. But in the trailers, you know... We, he's standing, Deadpool standing in the TVA, and they bring up on the screen, you know, Thor, Captain America, and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. But in the footage they showed us at CinemaCon, which is a little bit of an expanded scene of that, Wade is standing there and he focuses on Steve Rogers on the screen. And you just hear Wade go, Cap. Mm -hmm. And then standing and doing mm -hmm. his salute. Like, uh, uh. It, it just, you know, and, and look, just this is just theory time. But to, to throw out theory time there, uh, wildly unfounded uh, guessing at things, you know, we, we saw also in the CinemaCon footage that, or in the new trailer, that he finds Wolverine is like, listen, I don't know how to save the world. You do. What if Wolverine's not the only guy? He well, yeah, and that's I was about to say. I mean, and Wolverine's already dead. Right. So there's another variant of, in our universe, in the MCU, Steve Rogers is just old. You know, he lived a different life. He went back in time and lived a different life. I think all, uh, look, I think this Wolverine movie, or Deadpool, Wolf, Deadpool, whatever, whoever your favorite oh. character is, I think that we're going to get a potpourri of cameos in interesting ways. And I, I, I think all bets are off on this movie. All bets are off. And it's not just Steve Rogers. I think we're going to see all kinds of wackiness in this movie. Well, I think... <laughs> I think tomorrow we're going to do our little... We did this for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. We broke down the big chart about who do we think might make a surprise a cameo. I think we're going to do that tomorrow for Deadpool and Wolverine. But just for all the four of us here, start with Rob. It's pure guessing, of course. Does Chris Evans appear in Deadpool and Wolverine? Yes. You think he does? 100%. Johnson? 100%. 100%. Jonathan? Yes. Ray? No. No. Only the TV screen is what we see of him. All right. And, and you might very well be right. Um, anyway, guys. Wouldn't that count? I don't know. No, I don't think that no, counts. I that don't think that counts. Right? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Nothing be recorded. footage yeah. from previous yeah, movies universes, doesn't count. No, I think he absolutely does 100%. Like, it does count on a screen in the one Spider-Man movie when he's Captain America doing the PSA announcement. Yeah. Cause hey, that's kids, new. Don't yeah. do drugs. Yeah. yeah. I think, no, I think hundred percent Chris Evans is going to appear in this movie. Ned's going to appear in Deadpool. Ned, Ned and Cap together. Yeah. Ned with his sorcerer's ring. Ned. Oh yeah. He's the one who does the portal. Yes. So he does. He's definitely I mean, that's right. The portal that Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. Someone had to open that portal. Ned. Oh, it's full circle. It's going to be like, show us Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> and they pop open. I mean, in this kind of movie, all bets are off and you're dealing with the TVA. I mean, how many, look, look at, look at what we saw in Loki. How many variants of Thor are there? I, and only, how many variants of Loki? Loki. Yeah. yeah. We had, we had Richard E. Grant Loki. I love that one, by the I way. I mean, and who knows, you know, maybe they'll get Reb Brown to come back from the canon Captain America to play Captain America. <laughs> you know, who knows? All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? There's an internet rumor going around that he's already signed on to come back, but it does kind of coincide with the fact that we've been hearing that maybe he pops up in Wolverine or Deadpool and Wolverine. Do you think we're going to see him back again? If so, do you think it'll be in Deadpool 3? Maybe you'll think they'll wait till Secret Wars, or maybe you don't think he'll show up at all. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your 
thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.